Billboard's Latin Music Week is lighting up Miami with electric performances, parties, and conversations with some of the most popular artists. And tonight, the celebration continues with the Billboard Latin Music Awards. For more on this, let's talk to Leila Cobo. She's joining us from Miami. She is Billboard's Chief Content Officer for Latin and Espanol. Hmm. Uh, Leila, thanks for joining us. Um, tell us about some of the highlights of Latin Music Week so far. Oh my gosh, it's been an exciting week. Well, the biggest highlight I have to say was Shakira. Shakira came by yesterday and she did a public interview with us before a room of like 600, 700 people. It was very exciting. She spoke about everything. She spoke about new music. She spoke about living in Miami, about motherhood. Um, and that was really the highlight of the week. But we also had other great stars. We had Peso Pluma, we had Wisin. Uh, we had, uh, you know, a whole new generation of Latin music artists which are making waves on the charts and which we we're very excited about. Well, I feel like my question is going to overlap a little bit with your answer that you just gave. <laughs> Who are the artists to most watch out for at tonight's Billboard Latin Music Awards? It's well, you know, there is overlap and not. Bad Bunny is performing Whoa. tonight. Whoa. Yes. That's huge. So we're very excited about that. So Bad Bunny is performing. Peso Pluma, which is this Mexican music sensation, is performing. And then we're giving special awards, among other people, to Carol G, who has this beautiful foundation called Concora. And we are giving her the Spirit of Hope Award, which we give to an artist for philanthropic work. So there's a lot going on tonight that you didn't see during the week. Um, according to the Recording Industry Association of America, Latin music uh, revenue hit a record $627 million in the U.S. in the first half of the year. Latin music is having, I can't say it's having a moment. It's, I feel like it's been having moments for a while Yeah, but now. I think it's interesting, Anne-Marie. Like, this, this number, why I find this number interesting um, is, like, when we were kids, like, the, the probably the biggest act we could remember and it was Menudo. Remember Menudo? Yeah, yeah. Right? Um, and then you, remember Menudo? Come on. You don't, well, you she told, does. It, but I remember when I learned about Menudo all the way up there in Canada, it, it, to me, it was like a brand new thing, and I had no idea that mm. it had been going on for years and years and years, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Well, it's different now. The, the big deal with that number is that in 2022, for the first time, revenues from Latin music in the U.S. alone hit $1 billion, which had never wow. happened before. And now we're on track to go over that number, right? Because we're at 600 whatever for the first half of the year. And what's happening with Latin music right now is that music in Spanish really is being consumed by a lot of people, not just Latin. Yeah, and that's Layla, that's an excellent point. I, no, I, I think that that point needs to be sort of like, um, because because even I think again, going back to when we were children, uh, there were a lot of groups that were out there, but oftentimes it was seen as if you want to really make it in the United States, you have to cross over and sing yeah, in English, yeah, like DeBarge exactly. or Ricky yeah. Martin, even right? Like DeBarge Ricky is American. No, but uh, they, 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 I'm not saying that they're a Latin <laughs> right, group, right, right. but like they didn't sing in Spanish, even though they spoke Spanish. Okay. Right? I mean, like. No, but, but he has a point because th this precisely we spoke about with Shakira yesterday that when she became so famous here in the States the first time, she had to learn English. Yeah. And she spoke no English. She was a 19 year old from Colombia. Uh, she learned English to do her crossover. And now you don't need to exactly. sing English. You have people that don't speak English appreciate the music, and that's a big shift, and it's exciting because it's just we're opening up to different kinds of music. Yeah. It it can all be different, and we can all appreciate it and kind of pick and choose what we like. Yep, yeah, I'm one of those people. Me I will too. sing the words. Me I can't too. tell you how many times people have said, do you even know what you're singing? No, and don't I don't know what I'm, I'm singing, like, no. but it sounds <laughs> no, sexy and hot and amazing. <laughs> tell me what I just said. Is it appropriate in front of my children? <laughs> well, uh, I Layla. can tell you that when I was growing up in Colombia, I sang things in Spanish and uh, we had no idea what we were singing either. But we, I, I mean, things in English. Yeah, right. It was great. We loved the music. It's all good. Good music is good music. Uh, Leila Cabo, thank, thank you so you, much. Thank you so much.